the thing is, it's like I see a lot of younger us, like C4, as the jugs. They're young, hungry, and like passionate. So I see it as that where they're like in your face and just all about the game. So yeah, like it's just they live for whiffs and it's it's cool to see and like so that's why I just think they step up to the plate and they're gonna uh, they have a chance to reach it. Tongue action if you want. Yeah, there we go. All right. What is your name? I am Ed Packer. Yeah. Oh, do that again. The voice is cracking. What is your <coughs> name? My name is Ed Packer. Do you have any nicknames? No. Don't. At all? <laughs> no, I'm aware of Pac-Man, I guess. Huh? Where are you from? I am from Feasterville, Pennsylvania. Who do you play for? C4 Wiffle. Y'all added on the Wiffle this year, right? Yeah. Okay. But for copyright infringement sake, so C4 Energy Drink doesn't come after us. <laughs> How did you originally get into whips? Uh, playing in the backyard, man. Uh, Joe Walters and myself grew up together, wanted to play some whips, and we used to play with a trash can in Joe Walters' driveway. And uh, we were playing from like 30 feet away, throwing as hard as we can, and just hitting a hollow trash can, and then played whiffle ups. Uh, played with a few of those, and then uh, we would just always play Way Too Beautiful, which was Ian, uh, Ian Crosby and Adam Milstead. And then uh, they called us, and we're like, hey, Golden Sticks coming to Philly. Do you guys want to play together? And uh, we had always watched Golden Sticks videos growing up, so we are like, let's do it. And then from there, it's been like a full-on addiction. So, so what was the first team that you played with in Golden State? The Players. Oh, I did not know that. The Players, okay. man, wearing the purple jerseys and came in and we were using like a yellow modified bat and just throwing 35 miles an hour. What are your hobbies besides wiffle ball? Oh, man, hobbies besides wiffle ball, playing music, spending time with the family, love doing outside stuff, hiking, kayaking, biking, just being out in the woods. What is your favorite movie? Favorite movie? Oh, uh, I like Step Brothers. Just, I like anything comedy. Um, not really a big favorite, just there's something funny, I like it. Alright, alright. Like Cats or dogs? Dogs. I was quick. Dogs. What music do you listen to in warm ups before a game? Pop punk. Pop punk. And then specifically for you, I was going to ask, what is your favorite early 2000s pop punk band? Blink-182. Excited for the new tour? Can't wait, man. Edging? Got, I already got, Edging? Already got tickets. <laughs> already got tickets. I got my whole arm is dedicated to Tom DeLonge. Oh, yeah, you got the UFO. I do. I got the UFO. <laughs> I got the Blink. I got Love on here from Angels and Airwaves. So are you a fan of the uh, the California 9 era? Or? Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> Who is your favorite wiffle ball player? Favorite wiffle ball player? Myself. Favorite breakfast food? Favorite breakfast food is a sausage, egg, and cheese on a croissant. And if you're a bagel person, you can get the hell out of here. Because there's nothing better than a buttery, flaky croissant that just melts in your hands. And you can tell because you get a little bit of grease on the hands afterwards. So, bagel people get out. Croissants. Would you describe yourself as a hitter, a pitcher, or both? I'm the ace. I'm the ace of the squad. And what is your favorite pitch? Favorite pitch to hit or favorite pitch to throw? Throw. Overhand riser. Okay. And your favorite bat to use? Moonshot. That's basically what everyone says, but you know, oh, I can't no, keep it in. No, <laughs> I, uh, I actually broke the moonshot that I love to use. I bought years ago from Jordan Robles. I think it's a, like a first edition, like K-12 or something. Oh, wow. Um, nice solid barrel and just it's got a little bit of a weight to it but yeah man there's something about that bat. Do you prefer medium pitch or fast pitch? Fast pitch. Love medium pitch 
I uh, love medium pitch because it's fun and there's a lot of hitting and there's a lot more finesse to it. But there's just something about stepping in a box saying, give me your best shit and I'll see if I can hit it. Scuff ball or clean ball? I like a scuff ball. Um, clean ball, not to take anything away from it, I just feel like there's not a lot of variation to it. To where when you're throwing a clean ball, there's a lot of just... It's on a string where it's one spot, comes into a similar area every time where if you have a, a cut ball, you're more able to throw different variations. Gotcha. What's your favorite beverage? Favorite beverage? This can be after oh. hours, early hours, whichever. Oh, uh, we'll start in the morning. <laughs> okay. We'll start in the morning. I got two. I'm either a vanilla latte with oat milk, honey, and cinnamon in there, which I had this morning, uh, or a watermelon Red Bull. Mm. Then during the day, if I'm, if I'm treating myself a little bit, I like a Dr. Pepper. And then my uh, go-to drink, shout out David Wood, he got me turned on to this, was a, a Hendrix and Sprite. Wow. You throw a little lime in that, it's the one. Do you believe in aliens? <laughs> I have an aliens tattoo. Yes. If you don't, then fuck you. <laughs> have you seen any? Uh, I've seen some stuff. All right. I've seen some stuff. I, You're leave it at that. <laughs> I, I just seen some stuff. I can't identify it, and other people have seen similar things. And same thing with Bigfoot, man. Yeah, ask Babs about Bigfoot. Oh, uh, me, and, me and Babs are gonna start a podcast. <laughs> uh, we talked about it last week. Cool. Uh, I saw something in Georgia hunting with toast. Saw something out there. Next year, heard something. If you don't think the whoops are out there. If you could play whiffs against one MLB player, who would it be and why? Trevor Bauer. <laughs> All right. You're, you're pitching to him or he's pitching to he's you? He's pitching to me and I'd probably take him yard. Pretty easily, I'd imagine. Yeah. Um, no, Trevor Bauer, man. I think he's one of the best pitchers in the MLB that is blackballed, but uh, the guy, one, makes great content, loves to shit talk and is a competitor, and uh, he's somebody that would step up there and try to shove it down your throat. I feel like actually you're saying that mentality-wise, he'd probably fit in oh, pretty solid. He'd be phenomenal, phenomenal in the Whiffs community. What is your favorite TV show? Favorite TV show is The Office. Pretty simple. Pretty but simple. Game of Thrones, mm. Game of Thrones, and now House of Dragon. House of Dragon's good. Not sure how <laughs> I feel about the uh, about the time jumps and whatnot and different characters now, but they're doing a quality job on it. What is the best field that you've played on? Best field? I mean, probably this. Probably this from the sense of everything coming together. Okay. Um, but, I mean, I've played on a few good ones. Like, Savannah was a nice field. Uh, we played in Connecticut on a pretty decent field up there. But I think, I think this is kind of it so far with just, I like the inclusivity of it, bringing everything together and just everybody's on top of each other. Gotcha. What is the proudest accomplishment of your WIFS career so far? Proudest accomplishment of my WIFS career? Probably the first national championship we had. And that was in Georgia, and that was, we went into that really as overlooked as like, they're just another team coming in, and uh, we had Ty and d -Wag back out on us two days before so it was oh, me, yeah. so it was me Kevin uh, Joe Purcell and then we had Chris Harley from uh, he was from Tampa at the time come in and just fill in and it was like okay here we go and then we just went on a run on Sunday and hit everybody and it was fun man it's a good one to remember favorite video game cud cud warzone Oh, okay. uh, call of duty it's cud not cod warzone man in gatorade or powerade gatorade water it down a little bit favorite with whiffs video Ooh. um used to be golden stick the experience that was a good one man i used to watch that on repeat um and then steffi actually made a video a few years ago i don't know if it ever made its rounds called this is whiffs uh, this is Whiffs. It's like a 25-minute long video, just going like guy to guy to guy to guy. And like, oh yeah, I, and do I think remember they that. Go, yeah. I think he used Big Booty Mix in there <laughs> as a soundtrack. What is your craziest Whiffs-related story? Ooh, Savannah. 
Savannah, Georgia. The year that we won our first national championship. Friday night, went out to River Street. Wasn't planning on drinking. I was going to be responsible. Let's, let's play some whiffs. And uh, next thing I know, I was being carried back to the hotel room. The next day, I was uh, yakking behind walls uh, <laughs> and just was not coherent until like 4 o'clock that day and then came alive. <laughs> came alive. What's your advice to new guys just getting into wiffle ball? Don't get discouraged. You're going to come across there a lot of good teams. Uh, there's a lot of good guys in whips. There's a lot of assholes. Don't get discouraged. If you're going to come in, you'll probably struggle a little bit, but use it as motivation to keep playing because I can tell you nobody nobody comes in and starts at the top. Every single team here that's playing right now has come in and gone 0-3 at a tournament, got their ass kicked, has been like, what did I do wrong? How do I fix this? So uh, don't get discouraged. Just keep going. Do you have any shout-outs? Uh, Shout-out my wife. Shout out Weston. Weston Leroy. What about the birds? Oh. <laughs> How about them fightings? How about the birds? I tell you, man. Philly sports on the rise. Hey. Are you interviewing him? Yeah. yeah as, 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 you, as you walk in. <laughs> 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 and lastly, where can people find you? Uh, on Facebook, I'm at Ed Packer. Instagram, uh, I actually don't have an Instagram. I have a at Tailspin Band Philly. That's my like band page that I post everything from. And maybe at a tournament, hopefully. Oh, think? yeah, I'll be here. <laughs> I'll be at U Whiffs and then uh, anything else that pops up. Thank you for doing it. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you.